Hey guys, Fort Worth Glock Guy here, and I uh, brought out my Pelican 1200 case of knives. And these are a lot of knives that you guys have not seen because honestly, I haven't opened up this case in, in quite a while. And these are not knives that I carry a ton. Um, again, stickers on the case. Yeah, that's all of, all of that, but the good stuff is inside. So let's open this up. This one barely fits in frame the case. So let's just get to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through these kind of quickly and we'll just go down the rows. Um, maybe not talk a ton because there are a lot of knives in here. So, case trapper, cross shield, you guys know what a trapper looks like. Case, copper lock. Nice inlays. This one is a lot of um, when I went through my Alox phase. So there's a lot of different Alox knives in here. This one is a, not a Bantam. What did they call this one? It's got a blade. and the multi-tool, I forget what it's called. Not the Bantam. Uh, geez, God, it's been a while. Um, let's just keep going though. Uh, it'll come to me. This is the Cadet, kind of. Except this one has a pin blade on the back. And of course, it's an old shield. I forget what year this is. Like I said, it's been a while since I've even gone through this case. <clears throat> an old, well, 98, not too old, but an old Vanger. I think this is Vanger. Yep, old Vanger soldier. Here is not the electrician, but yeah, it has an electrician blade. I forget a lot of the names of these. I knew them at one point when I was way into collecting and just not into collecting Victorinox anymore because I kind of got what I liked. Um, this one is a cool one though. This one is a Texas emblem with titanium. This was a custom that I wanted. Um, it has the blade, it has the awl, it has the scissors. Where are they at? Oh. Scissors. Um, and the unique part of that is the electrician blade. Um, I really like this blade. It works really good. Um, and as far as multi-tools go, I use this one. I just don't use the can opener, so I opted for this instead in place of the can opener. Yeah, I love this one. I wish I carried it more. Very cool piece. Case, copper lock. This is a large one, nice blue acrylic. Here's another custom. I forget who the makers are, but what's really cool about this one, I, again, this is a um, like an executive, I believe it is. And uh, with titanium, I forget who, again, I forget who the maker is, but all of the tools have been um, acid washed as well. Pin blade, scissors. Yeah, this is the executive just with the tools. And then if you look really closely right down the middle, there's a little blue layer. I thought that was really cool. So 
anyways, those are my two customs. Actually, I've got another one down here too, I forgot. Um, just a pioneer, I believe. Nope, electrician. This is the electrician, I believe. Or is it the pruner? Man, I can't remember. It's been so long. This one is a, farmer I believe nope <laughs> there's the pruner blade there's the pruner blade so this one is the yeah this is a farmer with the plume uh, the pruner blade excuse me okay this one is just a standard Swiss what did they call it, the X. This was before they came out with the um, Pioneer X. These, these were really popular as a mod. As you can see, um, I've got hex bits here, or Torx screws. These were really popular before um, Victornox came out with them. People were doing these all the time to as a mod, just because that's what people wanted. And finally, Victorinox listened. Uh, another single layer with blade and pruner blade. So I have one of these with the electrician blade, one of these with the pruner blade on there. Here's another um, custom. This one is my, f I, one of my favorite uh, ones this one is a compact so it has the blade it has the scissors it has the little combo tool and it has the corkscrew with a little mini eyeglass screwdriver in it and it also oops and it also has the parcel hook And I believe this glows in the dark. So this one has been used and carried a little bit. Um, again, this is one of my favorite um, Victorinox only because it has the big tools that I like, the scissors, the blade. It has the combo tool because I don't use the can opener all that much. Um, and the parcel hook, uh, I just don't use. But I love that it's a two layer uh, Swiss Army knife. So this is one of my favorites. And then this is just a basic black Pioneer. And this one did get carried a little bit, not much, because with these um, colored scales, if you carried them and they got marked up at all, the kind of the resale went down on them. So I didn't carry them all that much. That's kind of what this whole layer is, is a bunch of um, just different colors. Pioneers mostly. Uh, yeah, mostly Pioneers it looks like. So Pioneer, I'm not gonna open this up just because um, I liked all these little lanyards. So if I had a matching colored lanyard, I usually put it on there. So a black Pioneer. And then we've got a few different variations of this green because again, green is one of my favorite colors. Actually, when that one is a um, printer blade on it, which again, I think is really unique. So I love that color. This one's a little bit darker. This one is just a basic pioneer. Yeah, just a pioneer. Love these colors. I'm gonna go kind of quickly through here. Same one, it's just the, got the saw on it but again love the green dark green forest green pioneer i'm not going to open up these because they all have the same tools sets in them at one point i had tons of colors i ended up selling keeping the ones that i really loved and then sold off a lot of the the really unique colors but i just I guess I needed the funds at the time and I ended up just selling them. Uh, farmer, got the blade. Dark forest green. This one looks to be another custom.
so dark green it's got black uh, torque screws in it and has been acid washed so yeah all the tools have just been acid washed but they're the it's the pioneer it's just been acid washed which is cool and then we'll just go up this other side if I can get these out these are just older models WK stamp on there but just a pioneer soldier this is a Wenger Delamont uh, these older soldiers all the tools just seem a little bit thicker than the current models it, I don't know if I don't know if I can do a comparison or not but nope yeah the the tools especially the opening layer tools just slightly thicker so kind of cool kind of unique I don't know if they used a different kind of steel long ago. Here's an old cross electrician blade. I loved these old crosses. I have one that I carry and it looks like I have three here that are just kind of in reserve. Um, blue, another one of my favorite colors. My favorite colors, blue, green, and orange. I just really think they're I just love the colors. So here's a farmer blue. I do have a farmer pioneer that I carry. Orange. And this is just a standard pioneer in orange. And then here are, I believe to be three old crosses in very good condition. This one has a little nick right there. I don't know if you can tell the silver kind of shining through. So this one has been carried a little bit, not by me, but a little bit. I do love the old brass liners that they have in, in the, the old cross series. There's another old cross. This one seems to be in maybe a little bit better condition than this one. but it looks like it has been carried just a touch. Again, not by me. When I got these, I just kind of put them away because I know they were highly sought after at the time. I don't know if they still are. And then here's another old cross, Boy Scouts of America. And let's see, this one does not seem to be carried much if at all. So that one is a kind of a rare breed right there. Boy Scouts of America, Old Cross, in really good condition. Um, it's got the aluminum liners rather than the brass liner. I really like the brass liner look. Looks so cool. So anyways, there is my collection of mostly Swiss Army knives in this where, how did I have this like that? Um, in this 1200 container case. So anyways, hope you enjoyed a little memory lane there. I haven't opened up this box in a while. Um, cool. Yeah. Fourth clock guy out.